All right, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pow Pow, where today we will be making a little spag ball. Mate, what's a spag ball? You know what spag ball is, mate. It's a spaghetti bolognese. So the ingredients needed for a good spag ball would be first ingredient, the spaghetti. Then for the bolognese, we're gonna be using some nice ground beef, some dried rosemary leaves, onion, some garlic, basil, and then finally, some lovely fresh oregano. It's oregano, mate. Oregano, mate. It's oregano. Oregano. Hey, Pow Pow, what's in the can? It's a tin, mate. It's a tin of tomatoes. All right, so spaghetti takes around about 12 minutes to cook. The sauce takes about an hour. So which one do you think we're gonna start first? Probably the sauce, right? Let's do the sauce. So parts of the sauce need to be prepped before the meat goes in. And that means chopping up the onion. So as you've seen in previous episodes, you already know that I know how to cut an onion and I know you know how to cut an onion because I've cut an onion in the past episode. So you know and I know how to cut an onion. But if you don't know how to cut an onion, here's me cutting an onion. Onion is cut. Now I need me garlic. All right, garlic is nicely chopped. Now I need to cut up me herbs. And I've got me basil and me oregano. It's gonna cut these pretty coarse. How do you tell which one's which now? You don't. Now this knife isn't chopping very well, so I'm gonna sharpen it. Bosh. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely. All right, all my ingredients are prepped. Now we can start cooking the beef. Now, I didn't preheat my pan for one very good and legitimate reason. I forgot. So, while I'm waiting for that to heat, I can open me tins of tomatoes. But I don't have a tin opener. Have you got a tin opener? Uh, I don't have a tin opener, but I got a can opener. That's a tin opener, mate. Nice one. Now you always want to remember to lick the lid. You don't want to waste it. Mm. Bear in mind, when you're putting this in the recycling, give it a quick rinse, because you don't want your recycling bin stinking of dirty tomatoes in a week. That's lovely, that. Okay, now that all my ingredients are prepped for the sauce, I just need to figure out if the pan is hot enough. So, easiest way, you wanna know something? You ask a question. Oi, are you hot enough yet? He is, he's nice and Hot. So, first things first, as we mentioned, first things always first, first things never last, first things always first, get the meat in. Now, in order to break up me meat, I'm using me paintbrush. But remember kids, when you're using a paintbrush, always take the bristles off, because you don't want to burn them. Now that that's browning, I can add me onion, me garlic, and me dried rosemary leaves. So remember, this is one onion, five garlic cloves, and half a tablespoon of dried rosemary leaves. Wait for a little while for it to cook. A little bit longer. 
Pow, pow. Did you turn the exhaust on? Oh, yeah. Exhaust is on. Now that the meat is nice and browned, sealed in with some flavours, I can add a little bit of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, me basil and oregano herb blend, and then a tin of crushed tomatoes, and one small tin of tomato puree. So I've rinsed me cans, so I can throw them in the recycling and they won't smell. But I'm going to use that water because I need a cup of water in me sauce. Done. Now I'm going to turn this onto a low heat and let it simmer for one hour. Okay Google, set me a timer for one hour. Sure, one hour. Starting now. See, she's fucking listening now. Okay, the sauce has been simmering for about 45 minutes. We can move on to cooking the spaghetti. Now, fun fact, you cannot, you absolutely cannot split a spaghetti into two by snapping it. You'll always get that one. Do it again, mate, I don't believe you. You always get that one. Again, dude, you're doing it wrong, just snap it. You always get <gasps> that one. Right, me pan is bubbling like a witch's cauldron. So I can put me spaghetti right in to the water. Now you'll notice that me pan is smaller than me spaghetti. So you just gotta wait for the end to soften and bang it in. While I'm trying to get this in, we'll talk about how soft or hard we want our spaghetti. Now, most people will tell you that they want it al dente, which means to the touch, which means that it's not super soft. But I've grown up having me mum and dad make spaghetti and they overcook everything. So I like my spaghetti nice and soft. Sound. Now, that's gonna boil for about 12 minutes. Now, me sauce is nicely simmered. Now we need to check on whether or not the spaghetti is ready to eat. How do you know if the spaghetti's ready? One way, only one. You gotta take one out, and you gotta throw it. And you gotta throw it. And if it sticks to the cupboard, it's cooked. Pasta's done, sauce is done, just gotta strain it and get it in my bowl. Oh, that is hot, that is hot. No good, fuck. It's all right kids, sometimes things are hot and you need to find some tongs, but I can't find them. Found him. Thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with Pow Pow, where today we have done a classic Italian dish, the spag ball. So we've cooked our spaghetti, we've made some nice bolognese sauce with meat, onion, garlic, basil, and oregano, and I've just finished it off with a couple of leaves. You could finish it off with cheese, but I've been eating too much cheese recently, and me are getting palpitations and shit. I'm eating too much fat. Doctor says I need to cut it down, so no cheese for me today, but you could have cheese, all right? Pow Pow, that's a mighty big bowl. It, do you think I can have some? Absolutely not, mate. I'm taking this home. See you later. See you next week.